Hello guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about Japanese hair care products, reviewing all of the ones that I currently use and that are in my hair care routines. As far as Japanese hair care goes, I use it about 85-90% of the time and the other like 10% I use natural products, uh, natural ingredient hair care products and also like DIY hair masks and I will put this video in sections so I'm going to do shampoo then conditioner and hair treatments and then I'll move on to hair creams and hair milks and I'm going to talk about hair sprays that I have or you know mist sprays and then last but not least Japanese hair oils. What do you think about my hair? Do you like it? I dyed it just kidding, these are extensions and these are from GoGo Go Hair. What I really like about them too is that they're actually the length of my real hair. So my real hair ends like near my hips and this is the extension. It's almost there so it's really good. I'm really surprised of how well that they blend in. So if you are interested, I would recommend the GoGo Go Hair extensions. They do offer all different lengths depending on how short or long your hair is and all different colors too. So if you wanted to, you know, not damage your hair but kind of give it like some highlight or ombre for a change. That being said, let's just get into the Japanese hair care products. Okay, so starting out with the shampoo category, this is the Honey Melty Moist Repair Shampoo. So these bottles you've probably seen online, they are pretty trendy right now. So it's definitely not a moisturizing shampoo even though it says melty moist repair shampoo in my opinion this is more of like a gentle clarifying shampoo i like to use this shampoo as a clarifying shampoo kind of like the western drugstore brand neutrogena one um, but it's a lot more gentle than that one uh, this one again is still a little bit drying so i wouldn't suggest to use it every single day but if you need a clarifying shampoo that's more on the gentle side compared to a lot of them this would be for you. What I like about this is that when I do my hair oil treatments like coconut oil, I melt down the oil and I wash my hair with this and it really does take off all of that hair mask and the hair oil, no like residue left behind. This shampoo definitely clarifies the hair and makes it feel nice and fresh for a long period of time too. So if you're not an everyday washer or every other day hair washer, um, sometimes I go like four days four or five days, this is the shampoo I would use because it's gonna keep your scalp and your hair nice and fresh. And for those natural oils, kind of the stay at bay, for a longer period of time. Moving on to the Premium X Intensive Repair Shampoo. This shampoo itself is supposed to be an intensive repair shampoo, so it's actually supposed to help your hair and treat your hair while it washes it. This one doesn't really like intensely repair it. It just cleans it very nice and gentle. It's very fragrant too. It smells like flowers mixed with fruit. So if you guys are sensitive to that, keep it in mind because it's a lingering scent shampoo and it is more gentle than the honey moist shampoo, but I still wouldn't use this every single day. The reason being is that from Japanese shampoos, I really like how clarifying and how, you know, sudsy they get, but they are almost like stripping to the hair. They aren't like those gentle, all natural type shampoos. They really do clean the hair well, and they really do make that shine because of how clean they get your hair. But if you use them really often or every day, um, they're gonna strip your hair. Like I feel like they, since they are so intense and so good at washing it, it will dry out your hair. So again, this one is a little bit more gentle than the honey one, but what I really love about like drugstore Japanese shampoos is they have pumps. I really appreciate this in the shower. It helps so much more to control the amount that you want to use. Moving on to the Premium X Intensive Repair Treatment. This was the one that was sold with the shampoo. So if I use the shampoo, I always follow up with this uh, hair treatment because they go hand in hand. And I do think that since the shampoo is a little bit more clarifying, like I said, uh, this really does help seal the moisture. So I think using them together is the best way. It does to to have that fruity floral type scent to it. So again, if you are sensitive, keep that in mind because the scents linger, like they don't really fade as much as the honey moist one does. But I don't really mind it because the next day when you're styling your hair, it just smells super fresh and it feels super soft. So I feel like this does make a difference. Also, it's like a buildable one. So if you want more moisture to your hair, you can do like two layers of this, especially on the ends. And it's just going to give you a more intense treatment. With that being said, this one is my favorite. It's from the same line and this is their premium moist treatment. Very intense pre-wash hair mask. So say you're going to wash your hair that night 
right? You're going to go ahead and put this on before you wash your hair. So on dry hair, just like, you know, generously work it through and then let it sit. I like to let it sit for maybe an hour or two and I go into the shower, shampoo and condition in like regular. This just gives such a repair to the hair. Like it seals the ends so your hair is not going to look super frizzy. But also what it does is if you straighten out your hair, like you like to flat iron your hair, this will give you the most amazing sleek shine, almost like you've Japanese straightened it. As far as the moisture goes, it's not like a waxy hair treatment, meaning that you use it once, it works really well, and then you keep using it and it's like silicone or wax on your hair so it just doesn't work anymore but this one does so you can use it like multiple times and it's still going to work like each time it performs so well for your hair I'm moving on to another honey and creamy uh hair product this is the x damage repair hair pack within japanese hair care some lines have a three-step wash system meaning that you start with the shampoo and then this would be the 1.5 step the hair pack and then the last step would be their conditioner i just picked this up quick with the shampoo thinking that it was like a hair treatment mask um, not knowing on the back it said 1.5 step so this is what I put between washing so I'll shampoo my hair I'll put this on to seal it and then I'll go in with the conditioner and it helps stick better it doesn't really make your hair any softer but it helps detangle it a lot better i noticed that when i brushed my hair there was seriously no knots like it was silky smooth so i really do contribute it to using this when i just use a shampoo and a conditioner there's still a little bit of like tangles to it so you gotta kind of gently work through your hair with this it does help to detangle it and to help the ends become a little bit more manageable and smooth. For the detangling part, using this as an extra step would definitely be worth it. Moving on to the next category, that is the hair creams and the hair milks. I'm gonna start with the Tabuski hair milk. This one, hands down, is one of my favorite Japanese hair care products of all time. I've been using it for years and I rely on it for heat protection. It's a hair milk and hair milks are really great at absorbing into the hair. They don't just sit on top, they really drink it up and just like sunscreen milks or skincare formula milks, they're one of my favorite formulas because they're lightweight, fast absorbing. I take a few pumps before I flat iron or style my hair with heat and I use it as a heat protectant because it really does add shine to the hair once the heat touches it and it really does absorb into the hair. Layer of protection so when you are kind of burning it with that heat, this is going to burn off first and it's going to really make a nice smooth protection. Also too, this is a really great option Option. If you don't want to use gel and make your hair crispy, you can use a little bit of hair milk to smooth down your style and it's going to make it look silky and soft without making it look too like crispy from gel or hairspray. Uh, this is definitely a, another option to style your hair. My Cherie Hair Gel, a straightening treatment. So this is just like the products that are marketed for blowouts or straightening your hair. It's a cream you can put on before you straighten your hair um, that really helps to keep the style and to make the style nice and pin straight it does make a difference on how long the straight style looks keep your hair looking nice and straight and nice and fresh up to four days i use it and i could go almost like four to five days and my hair is going to look just like i flat ironed it that same day and as far as consistency compared to hair milks the gel japanese hair gel is definitely like creamy when it comes out it kind of looks like the milk but then when you work it into the hair it disappears it turns to a watery gel almost like a gel sunscreen or skincare um it literally the same exact formula but for your hair do you think that japanese straightening products really do make a difference in the sleek and shine also how long they hold the style for and then the other cream that i have is the lucido l argan rich oil hair treatment cream this is just really good on days that you don't want to style your hair, but you want to like put a little bit of moisture back into it and maybe put it in an updo. Um, this is going to really treat it with the argan oil, keep it nice and soft. What I like to do with this now is I just use this as like a pre-wash hair treatment, but a day long pre-wash hair treatment. Meaning in the morning time, I'll apply this to the ends and all throughout my hair, let it sit there all day long and it doesn't look greasy, it doesn't look oily, but it's treating my hair with that argan oil. And then when I'm ready to wash my hair that night, I know that I've like deep conditioned my hair all day long. So moving on to the spray category, the first one I have is the Momori Peach Flat Iron Protective Spray. And how I know that this heat protectant is working since it has such a sweet smell to it is that I smell this first. Like I smell the peaches burning off first compared to like 
smelling burning hair when I heat style it. So it definitely works. It creates a layer of protection. So I use this along with the hair milk and I feel like it is really helping to protect my hair from further damage. Really great affordable heat protectant. And then the other one that I have is the Lucido L Argan Rich Oil Hair Treatment Water. This is from the same brand as the hair creams. This one in particular is a good refresher for hair. So if you are between washes, you can just spritz this on your hair for a quick layer of shine and hydration. I really love a about this Japanese hair care water is that it's really fast absorbing, lightweight, and it doesn't make your hair greasy. Like if you reapply this very generously between washes, it's not gonna make your hair look more greasy or oily or like feel really sticky. It's just like a fast absorbing hair treatment water that your hair drinks up, gets a little bit of hydration, and it's like getting a little moisture in between conditioning it. I love the packaging in these hair care waters because it's always like these type of misters. It's so easy to mist. So I'll just show you really quickly too, like just in real time, how much shine and hydration it offers. It spritz it, looks a little damp at first, or you could tell a little shine just came just from that really quick spritz. Okay, so last but not least, we are on hair oils. This is the Dafuski Oil Perfecting Hair Oil. This one I use in between washes when I need to just give a little hydration to my hair, especially the ends to tame it. Um, it really does help. And what's really different I noticed about Japanese hair care oils is that they're a lot more lightweight. I really like to use this too on my natural hair, like if I don't use any styling products or heat to it, I like to just use this by itself to kind of tame the frizz and smooth the ends. What I really love about this oil is that in between washes, you can keep reapplying it every day to your hair and it's not going to make it look more oily than it was. And it also is not going to weigh down your hair. It's super lightweight. It always absorbs. It doesn't just like sit on top and it makes shine and life back to your hair. So now I say the best for last. This is the Ichikami Hair Repair Oil Serum. And this is my favorite hair oil of all time. This one is a little bit thicker than the one I just showed you. It has more of like a dense thicker consistency to it but it's still fast absorbing and compared again to a lot of other hair oils it is lightweight but i don't use this in between washes and i don't reapply it it's kind of like a one and done hair oil so when i straighten out my hair or i style it with heat and my hair is still a little warm from that style i will seal that style in especially the ends with this hair oil so not only are you going to get the benefits of it sealing the style and making your hair look shiny but the oil itself in it really does help treat the hair applying it right after you styled your hair with heat and it's still a little bit warm it'll drink up this oil and it's going to really make it repaired over time using heat in general is just so damaging to your hair no matter how much you protect it no matter like which treatment you do beforehand you're still burning your hair so you need something after you have used that heat to really like repair it intensely right away this i do contribute to being able to keep longer hair i hope that you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments which japanese hair care products that you love and as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye